doing and welcome i am willie williams appreciate y'all for joining the player subscribe 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 please remember go around to the willie williams show.com y'all check out a few things subscribe to the website if you would like to support a player around here you can get some for you and them little ugly babies by clicking the gear link on the website if you like to see what we call the event video click around to the patreon the willie williams show the link is down there in the description i need you liking sharing telling somebody about a player we try to get the thumbs up over 500 in every show so we can do something to the algorithm listen we got a PayPal link down in the description. We got dollar sign, dollar sign, dollar sign, top and bottom. Willie Williams show that is the cash app. And if you just so happen to happen to hit that super chat, please don't go over five dollar because the player don't know if he getting it or not. They say I get thirty, they say that they get seventy. God damn it, I think they getting the whole honey. Remember the midday news show. If you can't watch it with your eyes and you can't use your peripherals to see a player, big word. I hear he got damn screen. We do got a thing called a podcast on Anchor and Spotify. The Willie Williams show. Please follow me on IG and Twitter at the WW Show. Appreciate y'all. Have you ever woke up and you just just decided I don't like people? I don't, mm, some days I be having them type of days right there. Some mornings it be like that sometime. How y'all doing? I'm Willie Williams. Appreciate y'all for joining me. This is the Willie Williams Show. This is the Midday News Show. Appreciate y'all. Appreciate y'all. Y'all get, um, let's get these thumbs up in. Let's get these shares in. The thumbs ups is free. They is free. The share button is free. I do appreciate y'all for even thinking about the player coming on around here. I see 51. Oh, God, that's low. That is low, so it's kind of telling me that the notifications have not been sent out. What's wrong with YouTube? We don't know what's going on with YouTube. It's a YouTube thing. It's not a me thing. But, 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 does everybody know that we go live the same time every day? Y'all know what time the show starts, so just come on around here. Check on your peoples when the show is supposed to be starting. It's real, real simple. Cause y'all know how they be out here hating on the player. They hating on me. Y'all know that's what we be saying when um things are not going our way a lot of time. Mm-hmm. They hating on me. That's what's up. Bam. Um Wednesday. Wisdom Wednesday hump day. DFW on the check-in. Willie say how you feeling? Oh, I'm alright. I I, I I think I'm okay. I think I'm all right. Say so the deals in the build to say what up though, Pastor. What it do, what it do. Salute Detroit up in this thing. So the Bronx, New York is in the biz. Say what pop and pastor like these 30 minutes of five. Say happy hump day chat. What's happening? New Orleans is in the building. North Carolina's up in this thing. The five one oh Oakland, California is checking on in for duty. Will it what's happening? New Jersey's in the building. The seven three two is up in this thing. I see seventy. I see seventy. Come on, come on, surprise the player. I see 70 out here. Modesto, the 209 is here for service. What it do, what it do. Say happy hump day, everybody, air ones. Say hey, Willie. Houston, Texas, the 281. Hey, chat, what it do, what it do. Say loving to be here. Say much love when he get the bag, bro. The 334 to go. Monkey Town is up in the building. New Jersey's in the house. Say hey, sugar. The 612 is ready for the shits and the giggles. That's what's up. I see 80. I see 81. Um, that dog. Shout out to Nathan for the five dollar cash shop. Say, um, um happy, ha um, hump day for the hump day service. It's for the day. It's for hump day service. I almost was reading that right there wrong. That's what's up, man. I sure do appreciate y'all. Oakland is in the building. The shy's up in this thing. What it do? What it do? Shout out. Uh, um, hold on. I'm about to click it wrong. Shout out to the method to, to my madness for the five for the nine dollar cash app. Say still watching the player, just paying my union dues. I appreciate that right there. Show enough do. Show enough do. Mm. Bam bam bam. Shout out to um that 
Dog, shout out to Phyllis for the one dollar cash shout. Say happy hump day. Say hey, Miss Shirley. Love you, Willie. Love you back. I appreciate y'all. I show enough do. Kansas City, Kansas is up in this thing. You say everybody, Willie. I just love women. That's what's up. Say hey, sugar and chat. Tyler Taste is back on up here for hump day. Come on in. Come on in. Do not be afraid. I see 88. I see 88. Bam, bam, bam. San Francisco is up in the house. What to do? What to do? Brooklyn is in the building. Say happy pinto beans and neck bones and rice day. That's what's up. Listen. Listen, y'all better get your rice and beans and, and your rice and beans. You should be. We should all be stocked up with rice and beans. Again, we never know when they're going to cut the lights off out here in the doggone street. And if you don't know what cut the lights off out here in the doggone street, that means um, that they're going to shut everything doggone down. Or they're going to shut everything down and then you got to really, really fend for yourself. Grocery stores shut down. Trucking done stop. Traffic done stop moving. You know what I'm saying? So now you can only depend on... You can only depend on what you have inside of your house. That's what I mean by when they shut the lights off, when they cut it all off, it ain't no more internet, it's nothing, the power grid gone, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, what is that movie called? Like, like The Walking Dead or something out here. You did, damn it, we got to be prepared. We got to be prepared. He said, well, I'm finna be, hold on, hold on. they're going to yawn. He said, well, I'm finna be finished paying the IRS in August. He said, I got, no, it slid by, it slid by. Let me st stroll on down because I want to grab that back. Oh, you say, well, I'm going to be finished paying the IRS in August. You say, got me, they got you for three stacks. Oh, Jesus. I hate owing the IRS. It's a damn shame that we, that we as in the country, that you got to pay to work. Shout out to Roshan for being a member. That's what I'm talking about. Um, Listen, if you all would like to join, the join button is right up on what you're watching right now. You go ahead and click on that join button and um, join the player around here. Join the crew around here in the dog on the street. Give y'all sales a pat on the back. Y'all made it over 100 by 08. I appreciate that right there. You say, will it make some of us a moderator? I was ready to time out, buddy, last night. He was annoying and messing up the vibe. I, 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 and again, I don't like to remove people unless I just believe that they really do need to be removed. And I understand. I do understand what you're talking about. I do get what you're talking about because um, um, I just be. How do I want to say that? I like for people to be able to speak. I like for people to be able to speak. But yeah, it after a while, it did become annoying. And I just stopped. I stopped reading. I stopped coming you know what i'm saying but um you right you right i may need to set up some moderators i just never had moderators in the whole time that i've been doing this here so i don't know i don't know i'm gonna think it through i'm gonna think it through shout out to sensei for the two dollar super chat he say watching the clip watching the class but peeking in he say get them lights up that's what i'm talking about Appreciate that right there. Y'all finna go ahead on to get into it. Finna go ahead on to get into it because we got the amount of lights. We got the amount of people that um obviously that want to be here. Since we got that right there, let's go ahead on to jump into a little song. I saw it. Damn it. Now see, it's Wednesday and there's so much news out here in these street. So much news out here in these doggone street. We is doing the most. One more again. One more again. Um. We would not be disappointed. We would not be disappointed waiting on the news. All A lot of times, the only thing that we have to do is just lay around for it. Just lay around for it. It, it will come. Humans, humans will not disappoint you. I promise. Y'all, let's go down to Broward County. Broward County, um, Florida. My state, stand your ground, stay busy, busy, go home, stay. Please don't run up. We're in fifth for our life state. We got a 10-year-old boy. 10 year old boy done got wounded in the Broward drive by. I didn't even much realize that they still doing drive bys out here in the dog on the street. He said, I thought I was, I was dead out here. Thought I was dead. My arm shot me, I fell on the ground and got back up. Mm -hmm. And that's when I started running. 
A 10-year-old boy is speaking out tonight, weeks after being shot in the leg during a drive-by shooting. The incident happened almost three weeks ago when the boy was on his way to meet a friend. Yeah, the shooter's still out there this evening. NBC6's Kim Wen spoke with the child who's still healing after being caught in the crossfire. Kim. Shout out to Rasta B for the $1 cash shop. You say try hump on hump day for real, for real, though. I appreciate that right though. Well, Noah West says that even though he's doing much better, the last few weeks have been really rough. He now walks with a limp and says nothing has been the same. I thought I was dead. Ten-year-old Noah West thought his young life was over after he was shot in a drive-by on his way to hang out with a friend. I was walking with a friend and then um, somebody pulled up with a scooter and another car pulled up and they started shooting. Investigators say it happened March 21st at Hunter's Manor Park near Northwest 18th Avenue in Pompano Beach. When they arm shot me, I fell on the ground and got back up. Mm -hmm. And that's when I started running. BSL released new surveillance video showing what happened. In the video, you can see Noah bouncing his basketball while crossing the street. Moments later, another person appears in the video riding a scooter. Seconds later, a gray car drives by and shots are fired. The person on the scooter falls to the ground and Noah runs off, the bullet striking Noah's left leg. Although he survived, he now walks with a limp. Kind of hurts when I limp. He says his carefree days of running outside to go play have changed. Nothing's the same. I can't, I can't play football no more. I can't play basketball no more. I can't run no more. I can't play. I can't um, play at the playground no more. A new reality his mother, April Lofton, says her son is too young to have to deal with. He's a 10 year old. He's in elementary school. He's a straight A student. And I feel that my son didn't deserve this. I feel that he's a kid, should be able to live in a decent community and play with children his age and be a kid. She says they're speaking out because they want justice and for the shooter to be off the streets. You turn yourself in, do the right thing. He's 10 years old, you know, we just want him to stop the violence, turn yourself in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we keep asking for um, the shooters to turn themselves in. I still don't even understand why we do that right there. Um, shout out to Obadiah for the for the, for the the $3 cash app, say for the collection plate. I appreciate that right there. Now investigators are still looking for the shooter. Anyone with information is asked to reach out to Crime Stoppers. For now, we're reporting live in Fort Lauderdale. Kim Wynn, NBC6 News. You know how like a lot of times... Um, <laughs> We hear things, we see things, and we really don't be paying um, stuff attention. Let me show y'all something. Let me show y'all something real, real quick. Okay, shot 10 yo. Watch this, watch this. A drive by on his way to hang out with a friend. You see this black spot? This was the person that was on the scooter, right? I was walking. They said nothing else about the person on the scooter. Did the person on the scooter die? <laughs> we have no idea. The person on the scooter was obviously shot right obviously shot they said nothing else about it. i thought i was dead 10 year old noah west thought his young life was over after he was shot in a drive-by on his way to hang out with a friend i was walking with a friend right. and then um somebody pulled up right. with a scooter started running right bsl released new surveillance video showing oh. what happened hold on mm. and that's when i started running bsl released new right here this is a whole body. This is a whole body. A whole somebody is down on the ground. New surveillance video showing what happened. In the video, you can see Noah bouncing his basketball while crossing the street. Moments later, another person appears in the video riding a scooter. See? Seconds right later, a gray car drives by and shots are fired. The person oh. on the scooter falls to the ground and Noah runs off. Okay. This is the scooter. The person who fell is here. Bag it up just so I can be correct. Watch it, watch it, watch it. Seconds later, right a gray car drives by and shots are fired. The, scooter. the person it's on the, the person. scooter falls to the ground and Noah runs off. Person the still on the ground. striking Noah's left leg. Although he survived. Person still on the ground. Did the person even get shot? Did the person get shot? Did the person die? Is the person still alive? We focus on the 10 year old boy. So the 10 year old boy, I'm guessing, is more important than the person who is dead and or who got shot. I don't know, just pointing it out because a lot of people, they will tend to forget about the person who 
either got shot and either or or the person who had done died out there in them dog on street i'm just saying something i don't know i don't know mm -hmm. he said doing drive-bys on kids it's a doggone shame here they gotta watch 23 689 that all doggone time bam let's stay in florida let's stay in florida real real quick let's jump right on into it we got a situation we got a situation that our our beloved brother our beloved um uh, 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 um attorney our beloved civil rights attorney is on the case one more again we got a player ben crump ben crump is out here in the streets act um act damn it act, act. I don't even know. I was going to use a whole nother word. But Ben Crump is on the case. We have a man who was shot six times. Six times by the Miami police. They're saying that this is a civil rights issue. Here we go. It's video that caused controversy in our community. Now the man who was tased and shot several times by Miami police is lawyering up. He's now being represented by civil rights attorney Ben Crump. Tomorrow, the high profile attorney will hold a press conference. And that man is now paralyzed and still facing several charges. CBS News Miami's Chelsea Jones explains why they're calling for those charges to be dropped. March 7th, Miami police were called to a home for a disturbance. When they got there, the family of Donald Armstrong says he was having a mental health crisis. Because he, he was on some bad drug. Some drugs he got hold to that day. Police say when they got to the scene, Armstrong was armed with a metal object and failed to comply with commands, so they tased him twice. Then, at least one officer fired his gun. <laughs> He don't have no gun. He had no knife. Miami Police Chief Manny Morales. He had no gun. He had no knife. That's what she said. Morales gave this statement in response to the incident, which says in part, I pledge to ensure that our department does better addressing mental and behavioral issues. They said he had a sharp metal object. So he had no gun. He had no knife. Armstrong is now paralyzed, according to his attorney, Ben Crump. He is also facing charges to include aggravated assault. Crump calls those charges bogus and says they should be dropped immediately. In a press conference Tuesday following Armstrong's arraignment, that's what he and Armstrong's family are calling for. If he was falling, why are you going to shoot, shoot the man if you tased him already? You shouldn't have shot him. Shout out to Auntie for having a real. Shout out to Auntie for having a real right there. Yeah. You shouldn't have shot him. The Florida Department of Law Enforcement is investigating. In Miami, Chelsea Jones. That's what's up. Hey, hold on. We got another one. <laughs> don't, don't even worry about it. We're also learning new details. Let's see what they're going to say over here. New details. In another officer involved shooting that happened yesterday involving a man who police say was holding a sharp object. This was in Miami, and as CBS News Miami's Merle Rodriguez tells us, that man's mother called 911 for help only for her son to end up in the hospital. Mm. I think it's a very unfortunate situation. I think there are serious concerns. Of course. Shout out to Matthew for the $5 super chat. He said a person on the scooter got back on it and rolled off. He said, look at the original news report. Oh, really? Oh, okay. <laughs> See, we needed that information. We needed that information. Of course, the community is appalled. Pastor Gaston Smith shares his thoughts about the incident that took place Thursday afternoon on Northwest 57th Street and 7th Court. There are definitely some tactical issues and perhaps even some policy issues uh, with the uh, notion of there being extra force, unnecessary force. Pastor Smith is referring to the moment City of Miami police opened fire on one of his parishioners. He says is this man, Donald Armstrong. What you're looking at is the moments before. You can see a man has an object in his hand and you hear police tase him twice, then fire several shots. It looked like a, just, damn it, it's a metal object. It may not be a knife. You but can see a man like has an object in his hand, and you hear police tase him twice, then fire several shots. Mm. He has had some mental concerns, uh, and the mother was a little bit concerned about that. Uh, uh, but she was asking for help. She was reaching out for help. She was not asking for her son to be shot multiple times. Do y'all know that a lot of times, to what we be talking about, um, people be having mental health problems, they... they somehow done got a hold to some dope 
She was reaching for help. City of Miami Police Chief Manny Morales released this statement that reads in part, this incident has been an event that impacted our entire community. Transparency and accountability to our community will always remain our goal. I pledge to ensure that our department does better in addressing calls involving mental and behavioral issues. I am asking all of us to pray for Mr. Armstrong and his family during this difficult time. According to the City of Miami Police, a call came in at 2.04 Thursday afternoon about a man in his 40s acting erratically. What is this? Is that a shank? I don't, I don't know what that is. It's not a knife. Okay. It's something that can kill you. Got it. They say the officers attempted to tase him twice and say he wasn't responding. And that's when they say one officer decided to fire. I've spoken with the chief uh, who has uh, sent his concern to this mother. Uh, the mother right now is in the emergency room because she has taken ill. Uh, and the son is struggling for his life in the trauma center. We're going to get to the bottom of it uh, because the unfortunate thing is that uh, this young man is struggling for his life, and we pray that he lives. It's like an old little Phillips head screwdriver, some, huh? We're told Armstrong mm. remains in critical barbecue grill lighter. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Condition: The officer is on paid time off. The FDLE is investigating. We have to remember it was one officer who shot. Just one officer who who shot. I just don't understand. Like they shot him while he's on the porch. They probably about five to ten feet away. Especially the ones who got the guns out. I don't even understand why they decided to shoot. But for some reason they stopped the video from us seeing them shoot. But good thing I had a few other videos. Out here in the doggone street. I think that I got the one that shows them shooting. And I don't be understanding why a lot of times they don't want to show us this stuff when we watch gruesome stuff on the internet all the time. We got the news need to stop acting like adults can't handle shit. Adults need to see exactly what's going on. The, hey, hey, hey. Maybe. Maybe. That's why. There's a large majority of adults who don't take these type of situations serious because they don't actually get to see it because the news is always pausing some shit. You need to show exactly what goes on out here in the dog on street because we all live in the world to where I, I would kind of assume that we want to be safe. We want the world to be safer than it is and all that type of stuff right there. But we got to show people the things that actually goes on out here in these streets. People don't know because they have because they have not seen. Yes, they heard, but it's a difference when you see something. Shout out to T. Lee for the two dollar super chat. He said, "Why did, why didn't the mama call the hospital for help?" Oh, oh hell, they may start talking about defunding the police in Miami too. I don't. Mm -mm. I'm gonna put this up here. Look, 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 look. Questions: The family of the man who was left paralyzed after a police-involved shooting last month. Have now hired attorney Ben Crump to represent them. Local 10's Larry Livingston is joining us live down from Miami with what we've learned from today's news conference. Larry. We learned that Donald Armstrong, according to his lawyers, is now in a jail medical facility following that shooting earlier this year. And his criminal case is scheduled to be before a court on Thursday. But his legal team, which includes, as you said there, Calvin Ben Crump, well, they say the only person who should be criminally investigated in this situation is the officer who shot Armstrong. Mm. It's shocking. It's deplorable. It's horrific. It is what... Oh, so he had came off the porch and he started shooting. Hold on. Let's see. The criminally investigated in this situation is the officer who shot Armstrong. It's shocking. It's deplorable. It's horrific. I think it's this officer like right here who is shooting. Hold on. I think it's this one. This one right here. I I don't know. It could have also been this one right here, but I think it's actually this one. Hold on. Let's see. Horrible. It's yeah. horrific. It is what mm. you would teach officers if you wanted to show them what not to do. Civil attorney Ben Crump now represents 47-year-old Donald Armstrong, who Crump says is paralyzed 
following this encounter with Miami police. It was caught on camera. It seems like the person who should be under criminal investigation is the officer who shot an unarmed. Is that a woman? Is this a woman shoot? Is this one of our sisters? This one right here is the one who's shooting there. Armstrong, who Crump says is paralyzed following this encounter with Miami police, is caught on camera. It seems like the person who should be under criminal investigation is the officer who shot an unarmed man unjustifiably. Multiple officers responded to Armstrong's Northwest 7th Court home back in March. They deployed tasers. Police say he refused to comply, even tried removing the prongs. They tased him again. He fell to the ground. One officer starts shooting. Oh, damn. Oh, no. Wait, wait a minute. Prongs. They tased him again. He fell to the ground. One officer starts shooting. So. All right. Okay. I don't think that they should have shot when they shot. I don't think they should have shot when they shot. Even tried removing the prongs. They tased him again. He fell to the ground. Damn. One officer starts shooting. The reason I'm saying that is because he was on the porch. He's on the porch and their lives is not in immediate danger. They deployed tasers. Police well, say he refused to comply. Even tried removing the prongs. Right. They tased there. They shooting here. They shooting and he's clearly on the porch. He didn't even step off the porch. He stayed on the porch. Ah, oh, yeah, that is not justified. I don't, I don't. Now listen, listen. I know that this is rare. I know this is rare for my peoples out here. Need dog on screen. This one ain't justified. This one should not be justified. For one, it's multiple cops there. For one. They tased him a few times, and now a lot of times we also know, like, if somebody is on some PCP or something like that, something powerful, a taser, it really ain't gonna need much work. Yeah, no. But he never got off of the porch. He never got up. Yeah, nope, my bad. He did get off the porch, but he was already being shot. Yeah, no. So, ah. Uh, I think we need to suspend with pay right now. They deployed tasers. Police say he refused to comply, even tried removing the prongs. They tased him again. He fell to the ground. One that is a female. But he had his gun out too. I don't, mm -mm. shout out to T. Lee for the $5 super chat. He said, I think people should stop calling the cops for people who have known mental health issues and they shouldn't have hit him like that. Yes, I'm in agreement with you. I am in agreement. We we know why Kim folks got problems, right? Hell, yeah, we keep calling the police for. Oh, we call the police because we don't have another number. We don't have a we don't have a number to anybody else. Oh, we don't have the mental health hotline number, knowing that our people got mental health problems. So that is again a us problem. Arch. They deployed tasers. Police say Watch he refused to comply. Hold on. Even tried removing the prongs. They tased Right. The so I think this person is shooting and... Him again. He this person. It's females. He fell to the ground. This is a female. This is a female. This officer don't even have a gun out. This one has a taser. Found... One officer starts shooting. The sole basis of uh, filing allegations of aggravated assault. Is ah, that beautiful baby in the back right there with no makeup on. Was to cover up for the reckless conduct exhibited by one officer that was present. One officer. FDLE and Miami Police Internal Affairs are now investigating the shooting. Meantime, Armstrong's attorneys are calling for the aggravated assault charges to be dropped. The Miami police chief has said he will ensure the department does better addressing calls involving mental and behavioral issues. How do you get aggravated assault charges though when he never, well, uh, well, well unless they, unless they giving him the aggravated assault charge on his mother or something. 
This mom should not have to be here. My client should not have to be where he is when he was seeking help. I need y'all to just pray for him, please. Do that for me, please, Lord, please. I think he was shot by a female officer. Yep. That was Armstrong's mother asking everyone to pray for her son. We now know that again, he has been transferred from the hospital to a jail medical facility. And you say, Willie, you working for the defense or for your colleagues? Well, Lily, listen, Lily, 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 listen, I am in support of law enforcement. These are our brothers and sisters. Our brothers and sisters in blue out here in the doggone street. Now y'all know, y'all know we do these right here. I call it down the middle. I call it exactly what it is. Now, like I said, I think that the officer need to be suspended with pay for, for right now. We're going to do the investigation now because what we saw, we may not have seen. You know what I'm saying? What our eyes showed us may not be what it was. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We is looking with em like emotional vision right now. Yeah. No. So, 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 so we just going to have to wait. We, we just going to have to lay around. For you good people, please do not get upset. We're going to do our due diligence out here in the doggone street, and we will hold whoever is accountable accountable out here. For real, though. Booked in into that facility. We're told he has a colostomy bag and cannot walk. And again, his criminal case is expected to be before a judge again on Thursday. In the meantime, FDLE continues investigating this. We reached out to the state attorney's office. They say any criminal charges that they may or may not pursue against this officer will be based upon FDLE's findings in this investigation. For now, we're live here in Miami. Larry Livingston, local 10. Mm -mm -mm. I just say, listen, I just say the right on. He was shot too soon. He was shot too soon. If, if they was going to shoot him, they shot him too soon. They supposed to wait till he got off the porch. You know what I'm saying? And ran towards them or something like that right there with the metal object. That's when he was supposed to got shot. You know. Um, if, if, if they was going to shoot, that's when he was supposed to got shot. You know what I'm saying? So uh, we just got to be careful. Damn it, my law enforcement brothers and sisters out here, we got to be careful, man. You got all eyes on us out here. We got all eyes on us out here in these doggone streets. Bam. Got another story for you. Look here, look here, look here. Um, shout out to everybody who has been graped and or sexually assaulted, molested, and all that fly stuff right there. A lot of people after these situations happen um, and um, the accuser ends up going to jail and or not going to jail immediately and the family be saying that they want um what is that thing called justice they be wanting justice and i've always felt like locking somebody up and giving them 5 10 15 20 25 years a life or something like that is that really justice and you done done something like as far as you done killed some dog on body and or you have um great somebody is being in jail really, really justice? In my mind, I think that we just be um, saying, saying those type of things for the camera. I really do think that that's how we be, that's why we be saying that type of stuff. But I really believe that us in our hearts, deep down in our hearts, we want to be dead. We do be want to be dead. And I just wish that humans would just start saying it just like that. Because deep in your mind, that's really what justice means. That you want that person dead for violating you and all your loved ones. Hmm? Yeah, we got thumb, thumbs up, cash app, PayPal, super chat, Patreon, share button, and more. I need y'all support around here in the screen. If you're just not coming on in, we're also streaming live on twitch.tv.com, the Willie Williams Show. Come on in, support a player. Support the channel. Support is a verb out here in the dog on screen. Well, speaking of, speaking of um, holding somebody accountable and justice being served, which I, me personally, I think that a bit need to be dead. If I was to ever to go on the news, I am not going to be all, oh, I just want to see them locked up. Um, justice for my love when the shit, no, 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 no. They better, they better find you before I find you. 
death is the only justice that I see. But anyway, we have a situation that's out of Chicago. Um, a family of a how should uh let me, um a Chicago grapist died behind bars and they're speaking on the families and the people who who was great by this man speaks out here we go an emotional sabrina harris and her family come to the inglewood neighborhood park named in honor of her daughter 11 year old ryan harris just hours after learning floyd durr the convicted child rapist and murderer who killed her has died in prison mm -hmm. i'm just happy that justice been served it's been a long, long time. You see how she said? I'm just so happy that Jess has been served. See, Jess has been served now because he's dead. You see? Like, deep deep down in our hearts, we be wanting the person dead. The Illinois Department of Corrections confirms the 55-year-old felon died on Monday while serving his sentence at the Pontiac Correctional Center. State records show Durr had been in the prison's infirmary for the last month, suffering from end-of-life lung disease. Mm. Durr's relatives could not be reached for comment. I feel like justice is finally served after 26 years. Floyd Durr was already serving a 125-year sentence for sexually assaulting other girls when he was charged in 1999 with the rape and murder of Ryan. They gave him over 100 years. Wow. Would that make you happy that they done gave a person over 100 years when technically we know that you ain't going to make it? He eventually pled guilty in 2007 and was sentenced to life in prison plus 30 years. The case drew national attention after Chicago police first accused seven and eight year old boys of the crime before DNA led them to Durr. Woo, slow down, hold on. They first accused seven and eight year old boys of great. Ryan. He eventually pled guilty in 2007 and was sentenced to life in prison plus 30 years. The case drew national attention after Chicago police first accused seven and eight year old boys of the crime before DNA led them to Durr. I remember picking them out in the lineup and I was only six, but I remember. Over the years, the Harris family has endured other tragedies. Since Ryan's death, her brother and a cousin of hers both became victims of gun violence, and Durr even made a failed request for clemency for his crimes. I'm glad for them. I'm glad for all of them, because now they can, you know, honor their sibling and honor her daughter. Like, they could just continue to honor her. And while Sabrina Harris says news of Durr's death doesn't do anything to lessen the grief she's felt since her daughter's slaying, it does bring a painful chapter to end, allowing her family to finally heal as they continue to honor Ryan as they have every year. Well, this year when we celebrate, we celebrate completely it's different. It feels better when we celebrate because he's not here. Watch break. So shout out to the families, shout out to the survivors and all that fly stuff right there. Listen, when y'all get on the dog on um news broadcasters why don't y'all just be more honest why don't you good people just be more honest i want them dead because that's really how you feel i want them dead i don't want you to serve time and you get time to re um damn it to think about some stuff you really want somebody dead we got to grow up as human beings y'all we get just damn it we always say, keep it a hundred though, right? We always say, I like somebody who tell the truth and all that shit right there. But when it come down to you saying something, you want to sugarcoat it for the media. Stop it. Be grown. Moving right along, I ain't going to even much hold you. Listen, we got another case. We got another story to well. Even, um, we speak on watching 23, 6, and your 9 at all times. Shout out to the elders that's out here in the doggone street. Listen, elders is not like it used to be back in the days to where y'all pretty much got free reign because you older and nobody would do anything to you because the streets respected the elderly. The streets respected the elderly. They would not be touched. It was hands off of elderly. In 2024, it, Shit done change. I hear any dog on screen. Let me go ahead on to put up on screen for you real, real quick. We have a woman who is in critical condition after being attacked while going to church. She bit. This is a church. She's walking up in church. This is her with the blurred face. She's walking up in church, and this is one of y'all cheering. 
This is one of y'all cheering right here. And y'all know you're cheering when you see you cheering. Watch this. Well, we are seeing new video today of a disturbing attack in Queens. Nice. Police are searching for the man who threw a 68-year-old woman down the steps of a church and then robbed her. Police say the suspect took off with cash, her phone, and her car. Eyewitness News reporter Darla Miles is live in Jamaica Hills with the very latest. Darla. He walked up. He, he didn't even punch her. He pushed Liz, this is horrible. A senior citizen cannot even go to church nope. on Sunday morning without being attacked. That is the sentiment here in Jamaica Hills. This is the path the 68-year-old victim took as she was approaching the church. And while she was walking, you can see on the surveillance video, the suspect was running, trying to catch up with her. You know, so she gets to the top of the stairs right about here. She's only a few steps away from the front door of the church when he jumps pops behind her she falls all the way down the stairs just imagine how hard that fall was and how badly she was injured do that baby got on them jays <laughs> do that baby got on some leather pants and showing her that she got them jays on she's only a few steps away from the Go front on, door sister. of the church when he jumps pops that baby pivot like she's gonna place a ball out here on y'all behind, behind her she falls all the way down mm -hmm. the stairs just imagine how hard that fall was Damn. and how badly she was injured say that, oh that's attempted murder see doing that to an elderly that is attempted murder right there it, 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 it can it can it can fall under attempted murder because the older you get like the fr the frailer i think that's the word frail like frail like we frail Frailer, we get. I do believe that that's a word. Somebody, please correct me. Shout out to Judah Kicks for the two dollar super chat. He said, "Did they break? Did they break the Sunday church truths?" Mm. Yeah, right. Because remember back then, also, if it was on Sunday, nothing goes down. We don't do nothing on Sundays. Um, I guess they changed the Sabbath day. Go ahead. Here on this side. She was on this side. Can we also say that maybe God ain't cool with her or something like that? Or maybe like the Lord was busy? Maybe the Lord was um dealing with that other... Uh, Maybe the Lord was in Chicago dealing with what they got going on in Chicago. A 68-year-old woman shoved with so much force, she flies into the air. Eyewitness News has decided to freeze the moment she Ooh. crash lands on the sidewalk. Someone, I guess, was following her and just pushed her all the way to the ground, the floor, with such force. Yep. It happened at St. Demetrio's Greek Orthodox Church near the intersection of Parsons Boulevard and 152nd Street just before 8.30 a.m. in Jamaica Hills, Queens. Inside of the church, the people that were around, the parishioners that saw it or afterwards when they were coming, they came out to help because I was in the altar. While outside... Frailer is a word. See... I be trying stuff. The victim is being followed from behind. When she reaches the top step, the suspect jumps in front of her, knocks her down so hard she goes airborne. She won't watch another six. She won't watch another six because he was jogging the whole time in slow motion. Slow mo. Well, he won in slow motion. They they slowed the video down. But go ahead. Landing at the bottom I of the stairs, the good for nothing suspect then steals three hundred dollars cash, her cell phone, her car keys, and then drove off in her car. It was a major feast day for. So he watched her the whole time because he knew what vehicle she got out of. Yesterday, the feast of the cross, because we were still in Lent, the Orthodox. Mm -hmm. So she was coming to participate in the worship of the of the Holy Cross, the veneration. And you know she was coming, and then this happened. Well, what 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 was she covered by the blood? Was she covered by the blood? Somebody answer that. He's in the wind somewhere, cruising in her car. The 68-year-old is in critical condition at Dang. Booth Memorial Hospital. I visited her yesterday at the hospital. I she was alert. She was conscious. I gave her you know a blessing, gave her Holy Communion, and gave her a little prayer and an icon. And, you know, we're hopeful, her family is hopeful that she will recover fully. You say God is not in Catholic churches. That's what's up. 
this. What's up? Now, the victim's car is a 2006 Nissan Altima. Police want anyone to look out for it if they see it or they recognize the suspect in the surveillance video. Call Crime Stoppers at 1 800 577 TIPS. Reporting live in Jamaica Hills, Darla Miles, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. Say, um, damn it, the priest lost by 300 from her. Ooh, this amazing set. This is a major setback for that, man. Y'all got the... Man, hey, hey, listen. And try to have that shank on. It, li, listen. Li, li. Y'all need to be having a revolver on you or something. A little... Damn it. A little snug nose, a little 38 or something on you. You yeah, know. Keep your... I, keep your head on the swivel. Keep your head on the swivel. I don't care that you've been in the community for, um, for 60 years. I don't care nothing about that. The streets got to eat. These folks care nothing about you. You said they really want that three hundred dollars that she was about to give to the church. I'm trying to tell you. And then the parishioners bring cash to church. Y'all got to start bringing money, orders, and checks, or swipe your dog on um debit cards or something like that right there. Because um, shout out to a whole bunch of these churches who got the ATMs. Shout out to them who having the ATMs out here in these streets, man, because um the Lord need his money. I don't care what y'all did. He ain't got no stores. He ain't got no Walmarts up there, no Audis or nothing like that. He can't go to Publix or nothing. It don't matter. The Lord need his doggone money. Damn it, they might got Bentleys and shit up there, and he want to ride around the style. You know what I'm saying? We never, never know. He may need a jet. God may need a jet out here to get around faster. I don't need much, no. Moving right along, I ain't going to even much show you. Oh, I'm going to show y'all something real, real quick that um, it could be disturbing. Yes. This could really be disturbing, and I think that this happened out in Colorado because the Colorado news has done picked it up. Um, right when your children is on buses and you don't know what goes on on a dog on bus, we have a Littleton bus aide is accused of assaulting a student with autism. <clears throat> accused of assaulting so we're gonna have to prove that the bus aide assaulted the student here we go now at five video the parents of a young boy want you to see in hopes that it will force change their son gets beaten on a school bus now an aide on that bus kiara jones faces assault charges this family feels the little Hill school district didn't do enough when they first started noticing injuries on their son good evening i'm mckelly white and i'm kr you know good as hell where you're not supposed to be hitting on no child you know good as hell well you're not supposed to be hitting on a child that's not yearn. You know better, baby. You say, Willie, I just thought about something. We didn't we didn't give the Lord a whole lot of money, but we never seen his tax returns. Oh, he may be 501c3. He's exempt from taxes. Michael Spencer, the parents who wanted to share their story and the video with your reporter Kelly Worthman, who joins us now live in studio. And Kelly, that video is so difficult to watch. Yes, it is. And the parents want to know if that doesn't make you angry, mm -hmm. what will? You have fractured bones, a knocked out tooth, deep bruises, and immeasurable heartache. Those are just some of the injuries to at least three students, allegedly at the hands of a woman trusted to care for them. The kids take a special bus provided by the Littleton school system to get to one of Colorado's most highly regarded private schools for students with autism. Also, she just jumping on the students, huh? Oh, she's just beating the students like on the daily. Yet as their parents discovered, they say that bus was a place of torture. Wow. My sweet and loving son. Fighting back tears, a father is overwhelmed with emotion, almost unable to share the unthinkable that his little boy endured on the way to school. And his son ain't even dead. His son ain't even dead, and he crying more than these beautiful babies when their son be dead, when their children be dead. Had been being beaten. His 10-year-old son, Dax, has severe autism and is nonverbal, so he couldn't tell his parents that the caretaker he sits next to on the bus punches, jabs, stomps, and smacks him. The torture and torment of my sweet boy could have been stopped. Dax's mom says she noticed strange bumps and bruises on her son months ago, but Littleton Public Schools told her there was nothing to be concerned about. Ain't nothing to be concerned about, baby, about them bruises and shit that's on your child. Nothing to be concerned. Look the other way, baby. 
Then her son's injuries became worse, and that's what led to her obtaining this disturbing video of her son's unprovoked assault on March 18th. How could someone that I trusted, someone that I was so friendly with, and she was friendly with the um with the aide. Now listen, parents, we got to really, really think about this. When your children say that they don't like school or they don't want to go to school, stop always thinking that they're just trying to skip school or miss school that day. It's something going on a lot of times. But there is a little bit of time, poquito, poquito times, that they just um playing on our emotions. But we got to look into when they say, I don't like school. I don't want to go to school. We got to find out more. Do this to my little boy. In a letter to district families, the superintendent says an internal investigation began March 19th and they notified police. It led to the arrest of 29-year-old Kiara Jones and the unsettling discovery the paraprofessional was allegedly abusing other kids like Dax. 29-year-old, you disappointed with your life, baby. That baby is real disappointed with her life and, and, them, and taking it out on these little helpful children. My Hel son, helpless children, my bad. does not have the ability to tell me when someone's hurting him. My son does not have the ability to tell me that he was forced to watch someone hurt his friends. Now, parents of three young students are prepared to sue, saying Littleton Public Schools knew about their abuse concerns for months and seemingly turned a blind eye. What if all of these parents, and it seems like they're all lighter hue parents. Now, would you good people be upset if all these parents drop the N-word and call her all type of N-words? Would you good people be upset? Would you be, would, would, would you good people be in your feelings, emotional? Well, they could have called her anything else except the N word, huh? They, they had, had everything they needed to stop it faster. And they did. these children have been traumatized yeah. and tortured because they failed them. A failure, Jess says, that's blatantly obvious in this alarming video. So that means also that they have to go back. They are going to have to go back as far as they can, as far as the recordings will allow them to go back and watch her every single day on that doggone bus. Every day. When she's sharing without blurring her son's face to show what her son could not say. Oh, the mother didn't even want her son face blurred. Oh, no. Show it. Like Emmett Till. Show everything. That's what's up. Shout out to Deshay for the one dollar cash shop. He said, "Can they sue the school? They suing? <laughs> oh, they suing the school? Hey, hell yeah!" It's ugly to look at, but mm -hmm. it's important um, to see how confused and afraid he was in that video. He said, "Willie, why is she on the bus? She, she's a bus aide." So one thing we're going to keep looking into is how the investigations played out. Both Englewood Police, the police department, and the school district all saying today they've been investigating for weeks and do worry about other victims, but they didn't make any. Did she just say they've been investigating for weeks, but don't worry about other victims? Hold on. The police department and the school district all saying today they've been investigating for weeks and do worry about other victims. Oh, oh, and do worry. Oh, go ahead. But go they ahead. didn't make any public statements until today. However, these parents, Mac and Michael, have been raising concerns since September. And Kelly, we know you've been looking into this extensively. Is this the only case? Well, Woo! This is failure. Failure to recognize what's going on and failure to do something sooner. Failure to even look at the video recordings that's on the buses. Woo! Say, is it any more? Is it any more um, victims? Some um? have been raising concerns since September. And Kelly, we know you've been looking into this extensively. Is this the only case? Well, sadly, it's not. This is Littleton is actually the third known district to have similar cases. There was another in Poudre Valley School District as well as the St. Vrain School District, all involving students with disabilities on their school buses. In the St. Vrain case. Both the bus aide and the bus driver were convicted. So, McKelly, again, this is something we're going to keep a close eye on. All right, Kelly, thank you so much. Wow. It's a shame. Now at five. This is a shame. Um, baby, sugar, baby, baby, sugar. <laughs> Little 29, yo. Boy, if they don't, it, listen, which is sad because they're not going to give her like a whole bunch of time. Like, they're really, really not. Come on now. She was just elbowing them, you know, so they're not going to take that. 
that that serious out here in these doggone streets. But if 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 I had any say so, they need they need to give it like twenty years. They need to give it like twenty years. See, I know, I I know what y'all thinking. Twenty years, that's a stretch. That's too much. You don't need do. Hey, we got to make example out of people. When your child has autism, especially a nonverbal, y'all understand that means the child can't tell. And listen, if your child is nonverbal, you should be doing your best to teach your child sign language. If your child is nonverbal and, and autistic. Try sign language. Do what you can. The ASL programs, they have some really, really good ASL programs out here um, for you to learn sign language and and help um, teach, your, teach your child sign language because they cannot speak. It's a doggone shame. I would not feel bad. Here, I am surprised that there's not some recording of them calling her all type of n words. Hmm. Hell, they need to call her all type of N words. Moving right along, I ain't gonna eat much hold you. I'm just saying something. I say, oh, 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 say exactly what you need to go ahead on the sale now here. Keep it a honey. Give yourselves a pat on the back. Y'all done made it to the end of the midday news. Out here need dog on YouTube. Screep, man. I appreciate y'all for joining the player. Shout out to Shot Kid23 for the two dollar. A two dollar cash out. He said, "I would have paid somebody rent for her ass whooping." Oh, I'm trying to tell you something. I'd have had to go see it. I'd have had to go see it, and she wouldn't have made it. Oh, she wouldn't have made it. I'm for real about that right there. Like, come on, dog. You don't do that to the churn. Hmm. Shout out to Prophet May for the one dollar cash out. He say, "Lighter hue males gear." get to speak oh lighter hue males get to speak at press conferences you right listen, listen listen because it is rare other than what we did yesterday but it is rare that males get to speak at the press conference it's typically mothers it's typically mothers heartfelt mothers heart hurt mothers um speaking up and all that flat stuff because a lot of times just ain't got no damn daddies you know what i'm saying we ain't got no daddies we ain't got no uncles i i just don't be understanding it players prostate cancer awareness around here at the willie williams show says just a finger so your prostate don't work your meat don't work mess around and lose your little la la and or your life is your choice you make the call your body your booty i am here to help yes i am yes i'm is you say open hand no elbows i'm trying Tell you something. Look here. We finna go around here to Rumble, Rumble.com, the Willie William Show. The link is down there in the description. Rumble starts at one o'clock. I'm out of here, man.